Right, we're now going to go through exercises 13 through to 15. If we start off with exercise 13, uh, question number one. So it's asking what mass of barium sulfate would be produced from 10 grams of barium chloride in the following reaction. They've given you the equation and they balanced it for you. But if it's not given to you, you would have to write it yourself and then balance it. So they've got barium chloride um, with sulfuric acid forms barium sulfate and two lots of HCl. OK, so in this one, they're asking what mass of barium sulfate is going to be produced from 10 grams of barium chloride. OK, so what you need to do with these equations is always convert everything to moles first. OK, um, so barium chloride, you've got 10 grams of it. OK, so you're going to divide that by the molar mass. So just to show you which equation I'm using, it is mass over moles times MR. Reason being, because we've been given the mass of it, so we're going to use this equation here. So you do mass, 10 grams, divided by the molar mass of barium chloride, which I've worked out as 208.3. Um, so you're now going to work out the moles by doing 10 divided by 208.3. That gives you 0 0.048. Um, there are other digits afterwards. I'm obviously not going to write them out, but I will keep that value in my calculator, as should you. OK, so that's our moles of barium sulfate. We now want to work out the mass of barium chloride. No, that's Sorry, that's our moles of barium chloride. We now need to work out the moles of barium sulfate. Now, this is why you have to write out the balanced equation. Um, as you can see, it's, there's no kind of numbers in front of both of them, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So one mole of barium chloride will form one mole of barium sulfate, and therefore 0.048 moles of barium chloride will form 0.048 moles of barium sulfate. Okay, so this is the moles of both barium chloride and barium sulfate. And we've got the moles of barium sulfate now. All we do is we times it by the molar mass of barium sulfate to work out the mass. So you can do 0 0.048 multiplied by the molar mass of barium sulfate now uh, which is 233.4 and that's going to give us an answer of 11.2 i'm just going to do that round that to three significant figures okay so this is the mass of barium sulfate produced from 10 grams of barium chloride okay so the key thing with this is always convert everything to moles first okay and then apply that to the balanced equation um, question number two should be straightforward. Make sure you write out the balanced equation first. So it's not given to you here. So you would need to write that out yourself. Um, I am just going to help you out with question number three. Um, just in case you haven't done any work on esters. So I'm not going to give you the calculation behind it. But I'm just going to give you the equation. Um, so you have um, ethanol reacting with ethanoic acid. So this reaction is an esterification reaction. Ethanol is, sorry, C2H5OH, that's ethanol reacting with ethanoic acid, which is this. Don't worry at this stage if you don't really know what esterification is, um, you would do cover that in the second year. The ester it forms is ethyl ethanoate, which is this here. And just because that's incomplete, it also does produce a water molecule as well. OK, so that's the balanced equation for question number three. Um, you can do the calculation part yourself. I'll also help you with, that with question number four as well. Uh, so it's got to do with a blast furnace. So iron three oxide being heated up in a blast furnace. Don't worry too much about what a blast furnace is. Um, Main thing here is you need to know the formula for iron three oxide. So iron three oxide, you should be able to work it out yourself. Um, I'll help you out here. So it's Fe2O5. When that burns, uh, so when it reacts in a um, blast furnace, um, it's reacting with carbon monoxide, but you don't really need to know that. It is going to form two moles of iron because you've got two um, iron atoms in this one. Okay, so one mole of iron oxide forms two moles of Fe uh, of iron solid. OK, so that's the main part here, the ratio um, for this one. OK, and hopefully you should then be able to work through the rest of that. They are quite difficult, so do take your time on them. 
Um, I'm now going to go to exercise 14 where we are now working with solutions. OK, so when it comes to solutions, um, there's another equation involved. So put that over here. So the equation is moles over volume times concentration. OK, um, just to cover the units for everything as well. Uh, concentration units are moles per decimeter cubed. OK, and volume, because this is in decimeters cubed, that means volume must also be in decimeters cubed. OK, and that part there is very, very important that you convert everything to decimeters cubed. Um, and we're going to look at question number one and see why it's important there. OK, question number one, we have uh, 25 centimeters cubed of one mole per decimeter cubed of HCl. OK. Uh, we're asked to calculate the number of moles of HCl here. OK, so we need to work out the number of moles. So we're going to do volume times concentration. Careful, the volume here is in centimetres cubed. You need to know the conversion of centimetres cubed into decimetres cubed. If you don't already know this, centimetres cubed to decimetres cubed, you divide by a thousand. OK, so if we've got 25 centimetres cubed, in decimeters cubed, that equals 0 0.025 decimeters cubed. Okay, so that's the volume we're going to use in this equation here. So we're going to do, we're going to do 0 0.025 multiplied by the concentration, which is just 1. And therefore, um, the answer to this one is just going to be 0 0.025 moles of HCl. Okay. Um, that should therefore get you through up until question number 10 by using that same method. Um, I'm going to go to question 11 because the uh, task of this one changes. It's calculate the mass of the material. OK, so it's asking to calculate the mass. Um, so that means we now need to use another equation. So we worked out the moles of this one. It's now asking us to work out the mass of the same uh, solution of HCl. So now we've got to use another equation. So this is one where we're calculating mass. So we do mass over moles times MR. So we worked out the, mole, the moles of HCl, so it was 0 0.025 moles. Okay, it's of HCl. So now we need to work out the mass of HCl. So we do moles times MR, so 0 0.025 multiplied by the uh, MR of HCl, which is 36.5. So all I'm going to do is 0 0.025 multiplied by 36.5, and that gives me 0 0.9125 grams of HCl. And that's your final answer for question number 11. Um, and that should take you through to question number 20. And then question 21. What is the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed of the following? OK, so if we're doing concentration, I'm going to go back to that first triangle that we did. Uh, moles. Volume times concentration, volume being in decimeters cubed. So we've got. 3.65 grams of HCl in a thousand centimeters cubed of solution. We're trying to work out the concentration of this solution. Okay. Um, hopefully you can see that we're gonna use we need to work out the moles. We've got a mass, so we've got to use the other equation first. So mass times moles times MR. So we're gonna do mass divided by so 3.65 divided by uh, the molar mass, which we said was 36.5. Uh, so that should give you an answer of 0 0.1 uh, moles. OK, um, so we worked out the moles. So we're going to use that in this equation here. Um, we want to work out the concentration and do moles divided by volume. OK, so the moles is 0 0.1, the volume is this one over here, but be careful, this is in centimetres cubed. To convert that into decimetres cubed, you divide that by a thousand. So that's one decimetre cubed, so you just divide it by one. 
uh, which just gives you 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. Okay, and that should be enough to work through the rest of exercise 14. Right, let's go to exercise 15. Uh, this one is more difficult. Um, I'm not going to tell you exactly what to do for question one. Um, I'm just going to help you a little bit with the equation. Um, and you should be okay with doing the calculation part yourself. So it's asking you to work out the mass of silver chloride produced if 25 centimetres cubed of 0 0.1 moles per decimetre cubed silver nitrate is added to an excess of sodium chloride. So main thing here is being able to write the equation and then knowing what to do with it. So you've got silver nitrate. So silver is um, Ag plus. Nitrate is NO3 minus. So therefore silver nitrate is just AgNO3. Um, adding that to an excess of sodium chloride, so NaCl, that's going to give you uh, silver chloride, as they've said, and the other product is sodium nitrate, and that's the balanced equation. Okay, They're asking you to work out the mass of silver chloride produced if we've got 25 centimetres cubed of 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed of silver nitrate okay so what you should do is work out using the volume and the concentration work out the moles of silver nitrate it's a one-to-one -one ratio here okay and that's going to therefore give you the moles of silver chloride and then um from the moles of silver chloride you should be able to work out the mass of silver chloride okay so that's the most i'm going to help you with that question uh, so work through the rest of exercise 15 and see how you get on.